नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स पुष्पा बेटिया आई जे बी एन डॉक्टर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ज्योति विद्यापीठ सिमेंट्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर इन टूडेज सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लॉ सेग्रीगेशन तो फर्स्ट लेट्स से what are the three principles of mendelian genetics okay. so here uh, the key principles of mendelian inheritance was summarized as mendelian three laws that is law of independent assortment law of dominance and law of segregation so law of the mendelian's law of segregation states that the diploid organism passes a randomly selected allele from a trait to its offspring so that the offspring receives one allele from each parents okay so here the mendels when a pair of contrasting traits are brought together in a cross membrane of the allelic pair remains together in the first generation that is F1 and the segregates in the next generation that is the F2. Or when two different alleles for a trait are brought together in an individual, they stay together put at the time of gamete formation to the allele and separates the segregates and forms one another to each gametes as one allele, not both. Okay, so here. Mendel you notice that certain characteristic appear to be passed from one parent from the parents to the offspring. In many species, they have wondered why this was happening. So how he also wanted to establish what are the characteristic what they cut from each parent. Okay, so for mental for the experiment, the P uh, he has taken the pea plant that is the Python satyricum. So he chose pea plant because they had some measurable characteristic as well as being easy to breed and when relatively short breeding time and allowing them for the quick experimental turn around. So as he measured that several characteristics include such shapes as the seed color, seed pods, or the pods each occurring in the two distinguished forms. Okay. So here, the selection of the plants depend upon the number of days of the lifespan of the plant itself. So to conduct this experiment, he crossed pollinated the selected pea plants by removing the anther from one flower to prevent the self-fertilization and dusting the pollen from another plant onto the flower. So initially he crossed the fertilized plant into the same characteristic to ensure that the plant were through breeding or give a good baseline for the research. So the next stage was to cross a pollinate with the different characteristics such as one with the green seed pod to the other with the yellow seed pod. So these initial plants are called the plant or the tall the parent generation. So result of the offspring and the F1 perennial were then self-pollinated to produce the F1 F2 generation. So these self-fertilization continued until the rate was established for many generations. Okay. So here the Mendelian law of segregation, which means that the experimental uh, that the seed coat color is gray or white. So the seed shapes are round and wrinkled. The seed color was yellow and green. So here the pod color was green or yellow. The color of the position of the exile at the time of this plant or uh, constructed. So the stem cells or the uh, stem plants of or the tall or the dark one. Okay. So different aspects were taken. So the cross pollination of the pure breed or the cross pollination between the two breeds of the green and yellow pod or F1 green. So F1 generation that is the gene to 
heterozygous form and F2 generation is the cell pollination of the green F1 plants. So here are three by four in the F2 generation and one fourth in the yellow. So that means here the uh, dominance part is the green and the recessive part is the yellow. Okay. So the seed color here, the seed color also, the cross pollination uh, was taken place here. The parent generation was cross pollinated with in between the green and yellow. Okay, and the F1 generation was found for yellow, and the ratio of the F2 generation was in this one. Okay. So, when you cross the two breeds of the tall uh, meat plant with the two breeding class one, okay. So, these parent uh, generation was the B1 and it's called it as the parent generation. So, all the F1 obtained were uniformly tall as we have already studied that the dominant one was represented by capital D and the small was represented with the small, dark one with the small D. So, all offsprings obtained were uniformly tall in the F1 generation. So, this generation is called Female generation. Okay, that is the F1 generation. So the trait which appear in the F1 was dominant, while the trait which disappears were recessive. So when we say recessive one, that was disappeared here. Okay, and the F1 plant were the self fertilized here, and the offspring produced were called as F2 generations. Okay, so the three types of the plant were present in the F2, okay. So here you have to see the pure tall form was taken, okay, and the hybrid tall and the dark okay, in the F2 generation. So if we see through the graphical representation for this, let's read. So here you can see in the graphical representation the cross between the two breeding tall pea plant and the pure one okay, of the breeding with the dark one can be graphically shown. So P1 is the tall one and that uh, tall one and it is the dark, dark one. Okay. That means here the capital D, okay, here the capital D and this is the small D. This is the capital D, and this one is also the capital D, and this one is the dark D, that is dark and small D. Okay, so this one is the small. So that all were found in the dominant one, that is the in the F1 generation, they found all the tall D. So the cross was taken between this tall one, okay, and here the between the short one. Which resulted here forming the tall one. Okay. Tall one. Here again the form was the tall one. Okay. Right. So here in the uh, F2 generation. Here in the uh, P2 or uh, like the parents, two parents were uh, lost in the F2 generation. And in the F2 generation, we have found the different ratios. Okay. So 
so here in the F1 generation, you can find that uh, this is uh, here the parents were taken, that is, if the tall plants are represented by the tall tree, and the dark was represented by here with the plants with small tree. Okay. So, here you can see uh, the movements in the next generation in the F2 when the hypocytous form was crossed here with one, and this one is. F2 generation that is the tall, three tall and one dark one. Okay. So this is the dark one here. Okay. So the genotypic ratio is pure tall one, this is the pure tall one, and there are the two hybrid forms. And one is the dark form. So this is the dark form. Okay. Here, the, the female pa parents, that is the female parents and the male, uh, female parents of uh, the gametes formation, that is from the capital T and small t, and from the male parents, it is the small t and the capital T, when it gives the form, the phenotypic characters, that is the uh, different phenotypic characters was formed. So the phenotypic ratio is traced to one. There are the genotypic ratio is the pure tall hybrid and the dark Thank you. This session is powered by 2.0. Please check the Any queries will discuss in the problems for this.